A handful of locally owned businesses in Kalamazoo are staying open late tonight as part of a brand new event. The idea for Moonlight Madness didn't come from a nonprofit, chamber, or advocate, but rather from the retailers themselves. Two of them spoke with News Aid's David Horak. There was a big group of us, and we all said we want to do more things to get the community involved in downtown. Be Joyful shop owner and founder Jessica Thompson was a part of that group. She says there's one reason she has to close at 5 on Sundays and then at 6 the rest of the week. I'd love to stay open a little bit later, but staffing is difficult. I think it's tough because you've got to build your you've got to build your clientele over time for those late hours. Although their Rocket Fizz Soda Pop and Candy Shop is one of the retailers open later, Tom and Heather Homer says this time of year is a prime opportunity. Regardless of the state of the economy for small business, the holiday season is, is a big one. That's, that's where a lot of bills get paid. And co-owners with both of those businesses tell me that they get at least double the foot traffic just during one event. With Art Hop, we stay open until 8, which we love. We see a lot of more foot traffic, people walking around, especially with the Central Commons area. Which is why the 26 businesses are eager how Moonlight Madness will make its mark on the local market. I think this, this can show a lot of retailers that, hey, the longer you're open, the more opportunities you have. So everybody needs to come out tonight so that we can see, is this something that our community wants from us? So I'm excited about it. I would love to offer that to more people as well. Most, if not all, participants will keep the lights on until 11 o'clock. In Kalamazoo, David Horak, News 8.